this lecture let's observe some of the data sets that we are going to deal basically we are going to see whenever we do this type of machine learning projects so firstly I want you to open this famous website for data scientists, data analysts and machine learning engineers that is kaggle.com slash datasets where you can get, explore, analyze and share quality data and this type of data can help you build your own project and share with them and learn more about machine learning projects. So firstly, go to this website and you can see different version of data sets over here. You can see for the computer vision, for NLP, for the data visualization. If you want to do the task that is related to visualization only, then you can open this file for the computer science. And if you want the data sets specifically for machine learning and classification, then you can go on any of these data sets. And you can also see the trending data sets over here. The data sets that is trending is Netflix movie data set and similarly COVID-19 world vaccination project progress this is also at the trending so if I open this file for now and you can see the person that is uploading this file and when did she or he updated and everything and the next thing about this Kaggle is you can just download the file over here download all these data sets from here and before that you can also see and explore this data online you can see these details each and everything that we have inside this data you can see we have the country name as a first column ISO code date total vaccination people that have been vaccinated each and everything about the data can also be seen here you can also go to this column section and see what this ISO code and each of these column name represents quite here quite this in an elaborative way you can see the country name is a valid country name we have 4908 that is 100% valid country name and similarly some of them are missing in the case of ISO code date we have total vaccination you can see all of the columns that we have here so basically what happens is if I just download this file from here first of all you have to log in just log in with any of your Gmail account or any of your email and uh, just download this file after you extract that file you will just get this type of file now so here you can see this uh, you can see this uh, this highlighted as a yellow thing so they are the number of features so these features are going to be our input so these are our inputs now you can clearly see these values this uh, highlighted with this uh, that is uh, let me let me just go over here and uh, I'll just highlight it with this blue so you can see these blue values they are called records so for this Elavina record and this country these are all records they are the rows and this this part here this is country column ISO code column date column total vaccination column so whenever you download any files from data sets or any file that we have been using or we will use in entire this uh, project or entire this course you will find the data set arranged in this order that is row and column so this is a basic structure for your file so there will be some rows that is our observation and there will be some features that is our column so normally what happens in machine learning project is just using these columns using these features so you can use these columns you can give this name as a features they are the feature they are the input for our model so using these features as an input you have to predict something so in this case using this input so I'll just give it a different color over here so using this input let me say so using this input with the color code of this red color you are going to predict the effectiveness here now you can see this portion is going to be our input and we are going to give this to any machine learning algorithm which is going to predict which is going to predict this column value so this is a basic machine learning project you are going to give our machine learning algorithm some of the inputs or some of the target or some of the basic that is explanatory variable you can also say this as an input so they are also input or you can also say them as a independent variable or you can also say them as basic that is input 
So they are the input. They are features. So these features will be given to machine learning algorithm in order to predict our target. So target here is the effectiveness. So in this way, you will see the data mostly in this row and column fashion. And next thing, you have to divide this data into target and input. So target will be our effectiveness. And this thing over here, this entire thing will be our, that is input. So this will be our input that will be given to our machine learning algorithm in order to predict this target. So in this way, row and column fashion data will be seen in our entire project. I hope you will get good grabs on it. I just highly recommend you go on this website and explore a bit of data. If you are a beginner, just go in this data sets and um, just explore this data, like go in this uh, classification problem and see the data, how the data is ordered in the row and column fashion. Just go over here and see here the large scale fish data sets. You can see its uh, data size also given here. So you can see 3 GB data. It is huge set of data. So you can just visualize on a small data sets like in some case we have here maybe in 10, 20 MB. So you can see it is 22 GB data sets. So that's a bit of use. You can also just change over here in this section with the new and um, you can also filter if you want by just uh, giving the file size, the file size that you want. You can filter it accordingly. So you can see 100 MB, 1 MB data is here. So you can just download this data. You can just visualize this data, which is in the row and column fashion. After visualizing the data, just brainstorm a little bit. Just brainstorm a little bit in a way that just think which can be your input and which can be your output. So in this case, this is based on your own experience. This is all about the case scenario. So in our case scenario, whenever I download this country vaccination, that is a basic uh, template, then all of this should be input like country where the vaccination happened and the effectiveness of this vaccine or basically how much people does the vaccine took over and how much are dead and everything will be our input. And this will be our input. And we give this our, to our model to predict the effectiveness of vaccine. So this is basic our scenario, like you can have multiple cases. So based on your cases, you must decide which must be your input and which must be your output. And after that, we are going to divide our data set into input and output. So input is normally called as a features, output is called as a target. So we are going to divide our downloaded data set or data sets into features and target. So that is the next step after we download this data set. So see you in the next one.